Thanks to the internet, there are a wide range of sources for your information. If it is from something you created yourself, it's a primary source. And if it is something created by someone else, it is a secondary source. Some examples for primary sources are your own journals, blogs or articles, or photos that you took yourself, or your own video or audio recordings. Some examples for secondary sources are newspapers, articles, CDs created by others, TV or websites created by others. When choosing information, you should consider if it is fit for purpose and if it is for the intended audience. Search engines compare the words entered by the user against words in a database and then displays the closest results. Search engines are found in web browsers and smart personal assistants like Alexa and Siri. Some examples would be Bing, Google, Yahoo and DuckDuckGo. Now let's take a look at some of the features of search engines. Keywords. Keywords are the words that a user types into the search engine to look for matching results. When entering words into a search engine, make sure to only enter the important keywords so that you keep it simple. Search types. Most search engines allow users to specify the type of information. For example, you may be able to choose images, then vector or clip art and so on. Search tools. Most search engines allow users to filter the results provided by them. For example, you can filter by date, region, or language. Suggested and autofill. Autofill is the automatic suggestion of a completed word or phrase that is provided as the user types. Suggested results would change as you continue to type, since the more details you provide, the suggestions would narrow down for autofill. Sometimes autofills are suggested by your browser history. Search syntax. Syntax are the rules that describe how words and phrases are used in a language. Here are some syntax that you would use when entering something in a search engine. And returns only results that match both words. Not returns results that do not include the word phrase matching. Returns only results that have the exact entire phrase. Copyright and plagiarism. When using information from secondary sources, you must make sure you have permission to use it. Sometimes you might have to state the source of the information. We'll learn more about copyright in another lesson. As the internet grows, it has become easier to gain information. However, many people just copy and paste the information from one source to another without even checking if it is fit for purpose. This is known as plagiarism and if used in an exam, for example, make reduced marks. To avoid plagiarism, most people rewrite or rephrase the information. This shows that you have found information, understood it, and then can express it in your own words. When providing sources, you have to include the URL, the author's name, and the date you found the information, or the date the information was published.